You hungry? Speak. Good girl. Today I'm going to be meal prepping for Gertie. This makes enough for her for about a week. Gertie has a really sensitive stomach and this seems to be what works best for her. You're going to need three pounds of lean ground beef, a 16 ounce bag of cut green beans, one cup of frozen collard greens. You'll need six eggs and save two of the eggshells, three tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to use half of a 16 ounce bag of brown rice. You'll need ground flats. You'll be using three tablespoons. We're gonna start by cooking our brown rice because that's gonna take the longest. Then while our rice is cooking, we're gonna cook up three pounds of lean ground beef. Hungry? They could smell it cooking already. You hungry, Gertie? You guys hungry? Once your beef is all cooked and drained, you're gonna add in your six eggs. Don't forget to save the shells. We're gonna mix up these eggs real good until they're evenly distributed and cooked. After the eggs are mixed in, you're going to have something that looks a little like this. Now we're going to add in our veggies. We're going to add in our whole bag of green beans. We're going to mix that in real good. Gertie loves green beans. Now that our green beans are all mixed in, we're gonna add in our cup of collard greens and mix that up too. Now we got that all stirred up and our rice is still cooking. We're gonna go work on the next step. Now we're gonna use those eggshells we saved. We're gonna grind them up real fine. I added a little bit of water to help. I'm gonna use my Nutribullet. Now you're gonna get a big mixing bowl and mix up your cooked rice and the cooked meat and veggies. And we're gonna get that really well distributed and mixed together and then we'll add in our last ingredients. Now that it's all mixed, we're gonna add in our dry ingredients first. We're gonna do three tablespoons of ground flax. Now we'll mix that up real good too. Now we're going to add in our tablespoon of eggshells. And we'll make sure that's mixed up real good for added calcium. Then our last step is mixing in three tablespoons of olive oil. Make sure it's mixed up real good and then it's ready to serve. We're gonna have Gertie do a little taste test right now. Gertie. You hungry? You hungry? Speak. Good girl.